Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. It's Timu time again. Today I'm going to see if I can build an entire aquarium using things that I can buy off Timu. So in the past we've done aquarium products from Timu and Wish and Shein and things like that. And what's the best ones? What's the worst ones? Today we're just going to try and build an entire aquarium. So I've been on Timu, I've done a bit of shopping, it's all arrived. Let's open it up and see what we've got. So first off, we're going to go with the big one. I think it's no surprise that the key component to any aquarium is an aquarium. And this is where I hadn't been able to find anything that wasn't teeny tiny from Timu. Um, just happened to be browsing and found something but it's a little bit bigger, specs wise. So that's what gave me the idea for this. Also, thanks to Callum for suggesting this months ago, but I couldn't find an aquarium then. As always, it's been so long since actually ordering it, I can't remember anything about it. Good old Timo, no real packaging from them, just a bag, the box is in the bag, it says Geelong and some other stuff I can't read. Let's open it up. I'm assuming this is the aquarium, it better be otherwise I'm about to be severely disappointed. So it's a nice sturdy box, there was no rattling or glass sounds when I moved it around. Um, so it's a decent sized cardboard box and inside that we've got some polystyrene and then the tank itself which appears to be in one piece which is a good sign so in terms of size it claims to be 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 22 centimeters so still very much a small tank by any measurement, but it's not one of those really stupid nano ones you see people keeping betta fish in and stuff. No, that's not too shabby. Um, it comes with a, a soft touch base. So it's already got some kind of base on the bottom of it, like a kind of spongy, very thin, but enough to put this directly onto a table or something like that, that wouldn't be any problem. And a pre-applied vinyl black background, and it looks Quite smart. Now I'm just looking inside at the seams. The silicon looks really clean, looks really well well applied. Decently thick glass as well. So it's five mil thick glass with good seams, and I can't say anything wrong with that. That looks like a fantastic little tank. Could this actually work? All right, let's see what else we got. Again in Timo style, just a plastic bag. First off we've got the Holo Aqua Nano Filter, this is the KD5000. This is a bit bashed up, um, that's not brilliant. Let's empty it out and see what we've got. I think this is basically a Nano Hang On Back Filter. <laughs> and they are not wrong, this is extremely Nano. Um, so that's it in my hand. I can't see that doing much filtration, but depends what you want to keep in here. You might be all right with just creating a bit of flow. And um, there are some sponges in there for media. You could swap that out for some small bits of gravel or better media, but if it works, it might not be the, if it works and I haven't broken it, it might not be the worst thing in the world. There are some controls on it. To increase or decrease the flow, <laughs> you don't get that on some expensive things. But yeah, it's basically just three layers of sponge. Hang on the back with a USB power and a couple of spares as well. So there's a sponge to go over to cover the intake. So if you've got shrimp or fry, whatever you want it to be, it won't suck them up. Okay, and next we've got a light. Again, all of this from Timu. I will put the budget at the end of how much all this cost me and whether you're better going to a big box store or if you're other other re more reasonable ways to start off your first fish tank. But hey, if you've got some Timu vouchers, it's always worth a bit of a punt. Um, clip on light with a little screw to hold it in place and I'm not going to lie that is kind of perfect for the size 
Again, USB powered, so I could run this entire tank off a power bank so far. What else have we got? A bigger box with nothing written on it. Oh, I know what this is. This is, <laughs> if you really think this is just too small, you can expand the size of your tank by giving it one of these little uplift bits where you get the water above the level of the tank and more area for the fish to swim around in. A bit gimmicky, but I thought that looks like quite a bit of fun. We can give that a go. I bought some substrate. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, 500 gram bags, I think they were. And then we've got some aquarium planting soil. And that is it. So, shall we get this set up and see if we can't make it look good? Okay, that's the tank after leaving it overnight to clear up. In hindsight, I should probably have washed the sand. It was quite dusty. But other than that, I think that looks bloody fantastic. It's got perfectly sized everything. The light is just right. The filter, it is small, but it kind of works. It would make the perfect beta tank, shrimp tank. Uh, I've added in my own plants and some rocks and sticks that I foraged previously. And a couple of little pebbles, but I think that looks really good. I'm just surprised how good the tank from Timo can look. There you go, everything's up and running. Put the little bit of fish in here in this little viewing pane extension, call it what you will. He seems to quite enjoy it in there and it does add something, I think. Um, it answers the question, can you buy an aquarium from Timu and everything else you need? Yeah. Uh, so, everything works. Obviously, I've put in my own plants and some decorations. These are just river stones that I collected and bits of sticks and stuff. But other than that, the light works well, the filter works well, it's tiny and wouldn't be suitable for anything more than a better or for some shrimp, but absolutely silent. Good light coming off the light. And it's a nice looking little tank, it'd be perfect for like a kitchen or a bedroom or a little side table or something. 
it's just that nice little manageable size and does look good. Could I have got something cheaper elsewhere? Absolutely. But for the the quality, I can't lie, it's pretty good. Right, have you liked this kind of thing? Make sure you click subscribe down below, give me a like, let me know what you think. I'm pretty happy it's worked out quite well. See you in the next one. Bye!